Hey guys, up Android Development here. Just a wee update video on the Dead Bell. Uh, if you saw my last video, you would uh, spotted that uh, we did uh, add three different modes to it. So we now have the passive infrared, we have the static EMF and RF detection. Uh, we have the or original uh, EMF uh, sensor on here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool actually now. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a little demonstration of how everything works. Uh, to run the normal stock mode that would come with this, uh, we turn the sensitivity all the way to the max. Initially, when it turns on, it will ding, and that's just to uh, check the, the the little actuator in here is actually working. But as you can see, it's uh, now calibrated for all axis. It's uh, an absolute EMF reading. It's not just uh, the XYZ. So it does now work all around, not just uh, from the top or the front or left or right. Um, so that's that mode. Um, static EMF, uh, we just simply put it to the middle. Um, and uh, we can then uh, use like static bags, for example. Static from this bag is going to trigger it off. Um, so you can see, kind of waving it around, it's setting it off, no problem. Need to kind of keep that out of the way because it does detect it from some distance. Um, it also responds to touch and also responds to actual EMF, like so. And basically, how that works is if you want it to be more sensitive, you would uh, raise the antenna. If you're finding you it's, it's ringing uh, non stop, we can then put this antenna down. And that would change the plane of which which is uh, detecting. So uh, there's there's lots of ways to get the sensitivity up or down without having to uh, code it in. Uh, the passive infrared mode is simply using this uh, little passive infrared sensor, and that makes it sound like a little old telephone. And we can then uh, obviously trigger it with uh, movement. It will sound like a little old telephone. Pretty cool. The customer's super happy with this now, and uh, is super happy that everything's fixed, and there's more modes and stuff to play with. And yeah, I'm super happy how it came out. Uh, there are people asking for me to build these. I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of uh, taking someone's idea and uh, making it into something else. But uh, if, if somebody wants something built like this, uh, you know, a custom-made thing, I wouldn't uh, be... Uh, marketing these as my own idea for example but I would quite happily build them for people if they wanted it uh, so yeah that's just a little thing uh, I'm not super happy about doing other people's stuff uh, but if I did my own version of it I don't see the problem with it anyway um, anywho that was just a little update video on the dead bell and uh, there has been a lot of interest on the group the group page with this uh, uh, thing and the 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 you know the process and people are super intrigued by it anywho i'm going to leave it there and i'm going to catch you guys in the next one bye the now